Breeze is back in episode 7, Act 2, um, along with a map called Sunset, which is going to be the new map. So there's going to be two maps next act that everyone will have to learn. Um, for some players, Breeze is going to be a completely new map, and for other players, it's going to be um, learning the new changes uh, to do with Breeze. I think Breeze has changed quite a bit fundamentally, so we're going to have a look at those changes now. Um, so generally the old, I'll just quickly go over what old mid was. Um, generally the attackers would be given this space quite for free, um, as it was very hard for defenders to not only take that spe take this space, but hold it. Um, because of the util that was being used, Silver darts, KO flashes, neon stuns, that kind of stuff. Even Chamber back then was really strong, so Chamber could set up a trap and he could fight mid for eternity. So he was really, really strong. He could also snipe through the doors. It was very hard for um, the enemy team, for sorry, the defending team, to actually take mid. So what does the mid look like now? It looks like this. So mid is quite good for defenders now, I think, as it kind of splits up mid. So right now there's like this now there's this little gap there's because this wall exists and they've straightened out this means that there's this nice little gap that can fit an Astra smoke a Brim smoke an Omen smoke, um, Cove as well uh, from Harbor Viper Orb all that stuff can fit here so that means that defense will actually have a smoke they can put mid um, and not feel bad that they have to put a wall mid so that means that double smokers double controller is probably going to be viable even potentially a single astra or a single harbor or something like that not really a harbor but single omen single brimstone potentially doable i'm not exactly sure brimstone um and omen also is omen astra also have limited amount of smokes brimstone is probably the most viable one potentially if it is a single controller setup um however astra can definitely fit into a secondary controller role with the viper um actually probably the way around um and so same with the omen um, and maybe even the Brimstone will find himself in like a secondary um, controller sort of situation as well um, with the Viper. Um, simply because this gap exists. I'm not even exaggerating because it allows the enemy, your, your defending team to actually control mid for a bit, which is quite strong because then it doesn't just give the, the mid players, the sorry, the attacking players mid. It just doesn't give, the, give it to them anymore. So they lose that ability to um, cut off rotations and they lose the ability to go any site and split. Um, and it's very similar to to split in this in that point where um, split you want to take control of mid so then and then you want to like info starve the the extremities so then you can make it unclear which side of mid you're actually going to um, pressure and then you can use mid pressure to like and then you can switch it up the other way and then go finish on the opposite side and things like that right and that's what that's what I think is going to be that what that was used to be possible on on old breeze but no I don't think that's as possible on this map um, as this smoke exists um i also think that it's harder for um though this is not a very good angle i don't think so they have to sit on this box to actually fight with this cover right otherwise they have to just sit on top and i don't think they're very good angles um it's also not wall bangable so it's not like um it's like a crazy like wall bang spot for defenders or anything um like you can't just punish people that sit in these areas um but i do think like it's definitely a net for defense to have this jump up compared to what it used to be um, jump ups are quite popular at the moment for changes um, as it just gives like a bit more elevation and it does give attackers maybe a nice angle but I do think it gives defenders an even nicer angle over here where they can actually only see this so they can sit in the doorway and they only see this angle here and they might see a tiny bit of the close angles below them otherwise like so you can have someone defend this area and not be peaked ever by any other angle um, if you have someone like deep mid right um, and I'll show the other side of mid now just to make my point more clear right this is what all new mid used to be so now we have this cubby, and what we could do is we could have like a chamber TP here. You have someone up um, in the corridor over here somewhere, and then you have someone in the in the mid uh, door, or maybe just down mid. And the person in the mid door can hold this. You have someone with like a TP that can TP back up here, and then they're getting covered by the corridor. That's just one way to play this, right? And there's plenty of other ways. There could be Yoru, there could be uh, Jets just like sitting here, or you're, even Rainers in solo queue could decide to go here. Um, and I think in general mid is really strong because you can just smoke this off. I know the defenders have a, a very big advantage in mid, right? And, you know, especially if you decide to put, you know, if you still play Viper on this map, you can still, you can just keep on putting the orb up and then you can also re-smoke it in her downtime, right? So if you have an Astra or you have a Brim, when the Viper orb goes down here, you can just place another smoke there and it's going to be impossible for attack to actually get in here unless they invest a lot of util, right? And that's got a, a, advantages in itself, right? Where if they invest util in mid, they're not investing it on the execute. They're not investing it to get into site. So they have to be sure in the advantage they get. Otherwise, they're not going to, they're going to have a tough time getting into site because they've used too much util in mid. 
Um, so that's like something big about Breeze. There's also some more things as well. So for instance, in like post in like post plant on A, um, there used to be an angle up here that you could actually shoot post plant. You could shoot the the diffuser, um, from this position. I don't think it's as possible from this position anymore, but I think it is possible from this position. And if you strafe jump over here, you can do it from here. I think as well. I don't know without testing it. Um, but they have opened up the door, which we'll go into in a minute. Um, and I think because of the opened up door, it might be possible from here as well, but I'm not 100% sure on that. So I'll have to like test it. Next we move on to B changes. This is what it used to look like, um, which meant, sorry, those are spoilers. Those are, so basically on this site, it was really easy to like tuck in here and defend sometimes um, because you could just like send like a Viper Molly and fire at anyone coming in. Um, and it was very unviable to go down here. And I think it still is. Um, but we'll we'll um, we'll have a look at the changes on that has been uh, given to Breeze. So now there is like a, a box here that people can um, not only can they warbang it from on the floor, um, they can also sit on top of this box um, and just shoot normally as well. Um, I think this angle, sorry, this overall area has gotten a bit stronger simply because there isn't this area to like cut in. Um, they have to like jump over the box to cut into this area now instead of going down the stairs, which was a stronger for attackers. So attackers could come in here, they could cut past um, all these like mollies going off in this corner um, and then fight the person down here, usually a viper or a sova or something. And they would actually just fight this, pe this, this person and it would be really hard for them to actually hold. Now the, the pathing is going to be different for attack where they probably won't cut in. They'll actually decide to take this angle and flank, which leaves them open to any like potential floods from... Um, I think people call, used to call it McDonald's, like CT area basically, and the half wall. Um, so basically, um, those areas will actually be able to punish anyone pathing that way. But it requires, once again, like attackers can probably play around that. Um, so I do like that. There is also this box here, um, which obviously allows the jump up, but it also covers a wall bang as well um, for like post plant and stuff. So the wall bangs only happen on the sides of the wall instead of uh, in the middle. So it, there is less places for retakers to be contested at. Um, I can definitely see this being dangerous for like Sova is guaranteed to going to be played on this map, guaranteed, um, because of the not only the the length of the map, like the the, the depth and length of the map means that Sova is going to have the advantage over Fade because Fade's limited range. Um, but Sova is also uh, obviously Sova is also a reveal agent. Um, so and I think he beats Fade because of the range is what I'm trying to say. Um, and um, on top of that as well, um, when you get to retaking, um, there are going to be lineups that hit these these corners, right? Um, and I think it's very, very hard for the people defending the retake to actually um, win, win out the scenario. Um, unless they play a lot, main, a lot more main, I think it's actually harder to stay in this position in the retake. The reason why is because I don't think there's as much access to this top bit over here, um, which means that... Um, they can't really like do things like three, two, ones from backside. It makes it makes it a bit more clunky, um, because they have to jump out um over from backside over this box over here that's currently invisible. You can't see it, or not currently invisible, but currently you can't see it. And I'll show you in a minute. Um, and it kind of makes it harder for um post plant read, uh, post plant um like coordination, where if the enemy team want to coordinate and they're both backside, it becomes immensely more difficult. Um, because the retakers have a lot more free space to take if they're not contesting through this wall. Does that make sense? Or if they're on top of this wall, right? That's the only ways they can kind of contest the retake coming into them. Um, I hope that actually made sense. I was a bit all over the place, but hopefully that made sense. So this is what it used to look like. That's what it looks like now. Um, so it makes the Viper Smoke and like Viper Pit, not Viper Pit, but Viper Smoke, maybe the Viper Pit better, but it makes the Viper Smoke and it makes the Viper Molly a lot stronger in this area as it kind of cuts the... The, the width of the of this sort of area down so a molly can definitely get all of this quite comfortably and um, which i kind of like um there's a nice shooting position here that they have to have to jump onto you can also wall bang from this position from this little box too without your head being visible which is maybe a bit scary but it's okay i don't mind it that um, too much you can still wall bang default plant as defenders from this position you can also do it from uh from the position here as well from this position uh, from this position, you can wall bang the planter here, and um, if they decide to plant in like the default plant. Um, but yeah, I, I think overall these changes to B are interesting. I don't quite know how they're going to play out. I do think overall it's it's a negative for the attackers, um, as I think this area has become easier to defend, and then I don't actually think necessarily it's easier um, to retake. Um, sorry, that it's easier to hold the retake because I feel, feel like this wall being a complete wall. And there's only this space to contest on unless you reveal them or wallbang them in some way. 
um, I these entrances uh, over here by CT as well um, have much more of an advantage against this thick wall than this doorway does, um, in my opinion at least, um, because this doorway has two options to pass, like this and this, right? And we can we can molly this, and this one we can wall bang from the other area over here, um, and we yeah we'll wall bang from here too. Um, and on top of that as well is that we can also call for a potential defense um, or flood from here and from CT to, to actually defend against this pathing. So it would be very unlikely that they path further than this pillar. Um, and the other way, the flip way, so if attackers have control of the site and it's planted and the defenders are looking to retake. Pathing from this way and this way I don't think has the same advantages. Um, so they have to wallbang. They are literally required to fight and wallbang through, through this. Um, on the on here or on or like through this right um, and they don't have access to things like the mollies that would be really strong here they have one like maybe you maybe you could technically argue that they have um they have uh ones here right they have this one instead which wouldn't be too bad but i, I do think like that technically pathing up here is fine or pathing up here is fine because it's fairly free right they can't just peek you from anywhere they have to either wall bang you through these areas or they have to be peeking up here um, and you can just you can just uh, smoke this off right you can just smoke off main potentially, especially if, if I'm thinking that, especially in, in competitive play, they're probably going to have double controller, so it's pretty decent odds that you're going to be able to smoke that off. Um, so I do think overall that this is actually a negative for attackers overall in B site. Um, hopefully that was uh, comprehensive. Next, this is what halls used to look like. Let me just get rid of those lines. This is what uh, halls used to look like. It was fairly open. It was very difficult to defend um, as defenders. Um, if you had a like, lurk here in mid round, uh, mainly because people wouldn't understand i think in ranked i don't think in general it's very difficult but um i think uh in ranked it was very difficult it was causing a lot of problems everyone had to put the trap here otherwise you would get absolutely annoyed like annihilated in voice comms um and generally it was like an op hot spot it was also a lurk hop spot you would see vipers up here all the time you see jet ops at the start of the round all the time and it's not quite gone but it's kind of gone so there's not gonna be any lurks going up here but we might still get the op battle at the start of the round but it, the main thing that it does keep is that it does keep like the silver arrow that used to go here, um, which is important, right, for A, uh, for A information. So that still exists here. Um, generally, I can imagine as well. I'm not sure if I don't think omens can TP through this because both sides are get are fenced off, right? Which means that if he is able to TP into this area and doesn't have a second TP, he's stuck there. So I don't think they would actually allow that. But I could be wrong. I think this might be out the out the map. Uh, but I could be wrong on that. And maybe they will allow him to get stuck there potentially um and i do think it's quite a crazy change i wouldn't expect this stuff like this where it's sort of like a, a massive window like this that you can't go through i don't think feel like that's ever happened on any map ever and this is the first time it's happening but i could be wrong on that i'm pretty sure this is the first time we're getting a window like across the map basically from like one spawn to another and um, that we can't actually get through the area i think it's pretty cool though i do like the concept i'm very happy that it exists I just want to see how this one plays out um, because it will stop any lurks, obviously. So it means that um, attackers don't have access to this door. So this is like a defense side door. It's almost worthless for this to have a switch um, if this is unable to be lurked through because you can just open this at the start of the round and then they won't be able to shut it unless they're really hard flanking. So you just open this at the start of every round and you have an additional spot to play A from. Um, you can even smoke this off, right? So you don't get sli like um, like... Shot through the down here. So basically, in like retake situations, I can imagine you'll have a smoke here and a smoke A main, um, and then you can retake from this area. And that is also possible. I mean, it could just be as simple as having a cloud burst as well from Jet. Um, it could be that simple too. Then we got some more mid changes. Once again, they've added the box here that allows for this smoke, um, and they've also opened the door up. Um, so if I go back to the door, you can see it's like kind of uh, on a slant there. Um, and now they've opened the sorry now they've opened the door up so now i think the person on top of the ledge the new ledge can actually see through all the way to a it also opens up general a fights which means that on the tack you probably have to smoke this off to go and push a it, or it may, maybe anyway i don't 100 percent know i'm guessing that they would that, that um, attackers will probably have to smoke this off to actually decide to go mid um if they want to actually push this side of mid um, if they want to go straight here, then obviously they they would actually like this smoke. Um, so maybe it's actually I just realised that it's actually probably a bit more of a neutral smoke than I've realised. Is that 
in some rounds you probably will smoke this as attackers just to to like um split on a um so maybe this smoke is actually the best maybe this smoke is actually going to be more utilized because it looks like you can actually fully smoke this but it could be wrong maybe we're going to have a new viper wall that set that fully smokes this off so you can't just get split on and that is also possible as well um so yeah i'm going to look at the next changes which is going to be a shop this is what it used to look like and this is what it looks like now it's very very different um as you can see there's like not many like, like it, i wanted to see what it looked like on this side but it looks like this doorway still exists um, and also the vent will still exist as well, just from the depth that you have there. Um, but I could be wrong on that too. Um, it looks quite crazy from this angle. There is like there is like a little floor angle you have around this corner as well, and on this, on this corner too. Which means that any aggression from A main is really, really difficult for defenders. Because someone can be in like all these corners. So if I get a better view now, if I get the better view now, this one. Um, sorry, this is what it used to look like. This is the better view. Um, this is the view now. Um, so... There's this angle, there's this, there's like so many angles that, um, actually, to be fair, there's so many angles, so there's like an air, area around here, there's an area behind this box, there's these two angles here, there's even an angle really far back here as well. So, there are plenty of angles that you just don't make, it just doesn't make sense to aggress from A main very much as defenders, unless you can smoke this off faster than they can push through it, which doesn't make much sense. Maybe this is wide enough, sorry, um, small enough for a potential smoke. But even then, I think I'm skeptical about that. I mean, the way they've like split it up like this makes me think it may be possible that they actually put a smoke here. And sometimes I like to do that with the floors, like they they change the floors because of like where the the basic lines are for defense and attack. Sometimes I'll do stuff like that in in level design. Um, so maybe there's this is actually big enough for a, a smoke to fit. Um, and for attackers, like if you do actually have a smoke here. Then you've got this angle to worry about as well. Maybe even this corner. Um, probably not though. And you have like some behind this this wall. There's plenty of things that is possible. I also like the the boxes don't reach to the ceiling, which means that the flashes can go over this wall and things like over this box and stuff like that. You can also send flashes through the grate. I'm guessing through a cave, and they can actually probably. Obviously, I don't know what it looks like on the other side. Uh, but if there's another grate there, then you can imagine you can probably do a deep flash short. So a deep flash through to a main through that grate um over through cave um that hits like back here right that's also a very that's also a possibility i'm not sure obviously it'd be good or not um without playing the map out but we'll see um, and then the final changes are um to the actual a bomb site so instead of being this it's going to be this so i'm looking forward to calling them shrimp and crab um <laughs> i think <laughs> i don't know i guess that's what people are going to start calling them now i'm fine with it um, so I actually, might, I actually will start doing that. I think I do really like the call out shrimp and crab. Um, so yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions about anything I've said in the video or anything else, then feel free to put them in the comments and I'll try to answer as, as uh, swiftly as possible. So uh, goodbye. I'll see you in my next one.